Hello everyone. A little bit of a little bit of a different setting compared to the usual chair stuff like that, but I just wanted to enjoy one more day of being in Los Angeles. By the time you guys are watching this, I will be on my 1000-mile road trip up to Seattle. Why am I doing that? Well, I'm moving to Seattle. I'm leaving Los Angeles. Why am I moving to Seattle? Well, that's what this video is for. I saw a Reddit thread, or rather I was linked a Reddit thread, I'd say about a month ago, and it was, who's your favorite Destiny YouTuber? And I was like, oh, I shouldn't read this, but I did because I care way too much about what people think of me. And my name popped up a few times, as expected, and there was always a comment underneath the, the main comment. I was like, yeah, but he always seems grumpy or he always seems kind of frustrated or angry during his streams and and all that kind of stuff. He's mean. So why why am I so mean and frustrated and angry? Well, it's partly because after 3 years of doing YouTube in near complete isolation that I'm going insane. But let's talk about how we got to that point. In May of 2011, I graduated from Villanova University and I moved out to California two days after graduation to pursue a career in film and television. I worked a, an internship or two, actually two. The first one was a piece of crap. The second one was not a piece of crap and got me my first job. Now, when I moved out to California, I knew zero people. I had zero connections didn't know the landscape, barely knew the industry. I, I basically knew nothing and I was starting over basically. So that, that'll come into play a little bit. So I got the first job working on a show called Face Off. It's on sci-fi, like a special effects makeup show. And from that day forward, I basically only worked for one company, which is not the greatest idea. So I worked on season two Face Off, season three Face Off, and you know, I job hopped here and there to other jobs in the, in the interim. And so that was my main connection, this, this one production company. And that same production company started work on a show called Hollywood Game Night. And I begged my friend to get me on this show, and he got me on the show. And I started as a production assistant, which is basically like the lowest on the ladder, and eventually uh, negotiated my way into a promotion promotion of associate producer, but I was still getting paid the same PA rate. And I was, I really liked this job because I was on the creative team and I'd always worked on production. I hated production. I was on the creative team and I thought like, oh, this is going to be my one. This is going to be the stepping stone to my new career. Um, I can finally get better paying jobs and, and better work and, and all this kind of stuff. But then, for season two, I was not brought back, and I, to this day, I still do not know why. I was never contacted by anyone except for a fellow AP friend, and that's when the whole YouTube thing started, and you know, here we are. So why is that such a big deal? Well, when you work on a film set, or a television set, or a reality TV show set, your day is at minimum 12 and a half hours, whether you want it to be that or not, whether you're doing anything, where you're doing everything. 12 and a half hours minimum, not including your commute. So for more than 70% of your day awake, you are around people. You don't have to like them, but you do have to work with them. And for the most part, I did like working with everyone that I, that I had ever worked with. I never really hated anybody. But as I started to grow distant from the industry, I started to lose those connections and those friendships that I had. Because most of the time you worked on the show, you were friends, and then when the show ended, you, you basically never spoke to each other again, unless you really wanted to or you were really good friends. So after one year, two year, three years of being removed from the industry, I was left with maybe one or two friends in California, all together, human, human, actual human beings. And so for the past three years, I have lived in basically 95 to 98% isolation. That means no human contact, no hanging out with people. It was very rare that I did because I just didn't have a lot of opportunities. 
Um, or I just, you know, it was in a position where like I would know one person and then wouldn't know 50 other people and I would just hang around that one person and no one likes to do that. So slowly but surely you start to go insane. You start to go absolutely insane by not being around other human beings. And you might say, oh, but what about math class? And what about, you know, what about all your viewers and your streams and stuff? You're talking to people there. And yes, you are talking with people there, but that is not a replacement for actual human interaction. It's not. And it got to the point where I was very much considering quitting YouTube because I was so miserable just being in my apartment alone all the time for three years. And I just wanted to quit. I wanted to find an actual job so I could actually be around other human beings. And I, I don't like to usually talk about my personal life at all or any sort of problems I might be having because I feel like whenever YouTubers talk about their problems or whatever, all the audience ever hears is, when I'm a YouTuber, I'm a famous YouTuber, my life sucks, I got a problem, when 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 And that's, I feel like that's all people ever hear. So, in an effort to make myself more happy and finally invest in myself, I am moving to Seattle because I need to be around other people again. That's basically what I need to do. So I need to be around other human beings. Triple Rec is up there. Miss 5000 Watts is up there. Holtzman, Mav Show. I have a college friend up there. I know some Bungie people who I can hang out with. I am not getting a job at Bungie, by the way. Uh, so let's just get that off the, off the plate right now. But, you know, th that, that isolation has rubbed off on me a lot, for example, during my streams. It's, it's frustrating. It is incredibly frustrating to be alone for that long. I, do, I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. It's just, it's miserable. It is absolutely miserable. It's all day, every day. My bed is four feet from my desk and my desk isn't even a desk. It's just a four foot folding table. And so finally, I'm gonna invest in myself. I'm gonna spend a little money on myself because all I've ever done since I started YouTube was just put money into my savings account and you know retirement accounts and all that kind of stuff. I, I paid off my car, but I haven't bought anything extravagant or anything like that. And so finally, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna spend a little money on myself. I'm going to I'm gonna get a new apartment. I'm gonna get a nice apartment. I'm gonna get some some nice furniture, and I'm finally gonna put some money into myself and just kind of focus on my own my own happiness for for a little bit. And that's something that I really am very, very excited for because just the only thing I'm gonna miss about LA is, is the weather. That's it, the fact that I can wear shorts and a t-shirt literally every single day uh, since being out here. But otherwise, that's why I'm moving to Seattle. I, I need to be around other human beings again. I need to not be so insane. I need to be not so miserable, just being cooped up in my apartment every single day, forever and ever, over three years of this monotony. Hate it, hate it. Drove me to almost quitting. But none of this would be possible without any of you guys supporting me in the way that you do. Watching the videos, watching the streams, subbing on Twitch and, and all that kind of stuff. So, I basically, I basically have all of you to thank for, for this new revitalization of, of my well-being and my, and my happiness. You know, I, I might not seem like in videos I really show much emotion. Like, I know why you guys are at the channel. I know. I'm not stupid. But, yeah, I just, uh, this is one of those, one of those rare behind the curtain, behind the veil Datto update videos that uh, I don't really like to post too often, but uh, this is you know it's a big move, so I figured that this is this is one video that probably needed to happen, and and just kind of let you guys know uh, what's what's going on with the move, and you know at the very least talk about why there probably haven't or probably won't be too many videos uh, in the next week or so. So uh, if you made it all the way through this, thank you very much for. Uh, for watching. Uh, it's my last day here.
going to miss it a little bit, not too much. But I'm looking forward to the future, looking forward to Destiny 2. Hopefully it doesn't suck. No pressure, Bungie. And uh, I think that's everything that I wanted to say. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in Seattle.